Okay, it is Cosmos Atom. Atom had a pretty amazing reaction uh, on on the on the small time frames like the 12 hour um coming in at this dip and just getting immediately bought back to the upside coming in from uh, 14 USD uh, currently hovering around 20 USD now, that's a pretty immense buyback right here so i thought why not why not take a look at this as this has been this has been actually strengthful this atom right here has been pretty strengthful this area this entire region looking as a good 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 point of accumulation uh, before the further distributive move to the upside in fact on the 12 hour uh, time frame as well looking pretty strengthful on the usd pair let's just simply jump on to the extreme small time frames just just take a look at how the price is below the 200 simple on the early time frame now get get this pretty clear on the early time frame as well you just got bought back just people are looking at opportunities on atom on lower levels this is pretty much clear off of this dip right here because this was this is like a simple dump rejection below the 200 simple moving average of couple of pin bars rejecting price to the downside around 16 usd and just simply engulfing <laughs> engulfing your entire dump so this means strength right here this means that yep yeah if it goes down there is certainly some interest some good interest in the market to actually pick this one up so what could be your upside targets if this is um, this is actually going to be a good move to the upside so let's just try to determine that out so we can simply take fibonacci retracements on these levels of accumulation on the atom uh, usd pair uh, starting in at august of 2020 uh, violating this accumulation range at 19th of this year so pretty long form of accumulation and uh, targets that can be derived from this uh, entire structure could be pretty amazing as you can see how uh, key significant levels on fibonacci zones were reacting against the price action and they're acting as support and resistance pretty nice pretty neatly um, so one of the trades that i talk about regularly is the trade between 1.618 and 2.618 so this one played out pretty amazing now this is what i this is what this is like a textbook example of my theory uh, which is the trade between 1.618 and 2.618 so right here when we start breaking above it um, you simply gravitate towards the upside onto uh, this key fibonacci level and well the rest is just the history but you certainly have 30 to 40 percent trade right in your hands like generally these trades are more than 30 percent and um, well, something that played out in atom against usdt was pretty neat to be honest i mean yep just just imagine your profit taking being your uh, your limit profit being hit over here after the 35 percent move to the upside certainly a good edge uh certainly trades worth buying uh, for on on anything in fact on anything now here's the thing the condition should be that the asset should be in a blue sky breakout right blue sky breakout blue sky breakout blue sky breakout on link on um, on bitcoin on ethereum on anything blue sky breakout is the key criteria for 1.618 to 2.618 to happen um anyways i feel that uh, this one was this one being a major buying opportunity on the 12 hour 21 simple as well you could manage you can start managing your risks around this point right here so range is being pretty big um uh, on on atom but your risk management stays to be active around this point right here losing this key level on 12 hour time frame even on 4 hour time frame i could argue would mean that we are going to be breaking down and we will probably retest the 1.618 at 11 usd but as i keep on as i keep on rambling about the fact that there is not much incentivization in the market for these assets to start uh, going down and 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 look what's happening look what is happening in front of your eyes as it goes down by a couple of uh, percents uh, like okay, this one being 30% immediately getting bought back to the upside right immediately getting bought back to the so market is full of strength here you cannot be a bear you can take short positions as scalps but you cannot certainly have short positions as your swing trades i don't not think that's a good idea i do not think that's a good idea in bull runs uh, you could scalp you could certainly scalp just like in bear markets you could scalp moves to the upside just like that in the bull markets you can scalp your moves to the downside so short positions are scalps no swing positions on the short side that's just not that's just not relevant to me okay so this one being your key risk management area you could argue that uh, you can take this grind this grind as well uh, on which the i don't 
uh, we have broken above it as well so this looks to me like uh, I, I don't see prices coming down here again unfortunately I mean look I am not going to be crystal ball kind of uh, person predicting these markets right here but I feel that uh, since you've bullishly engulfed coming off of this support right here and you closed above the 21 simple on the 4 hour time frame you should probably continue straight up you should probably start continuing straight up. So as far as we are closing these 4 hour candles above the 21 simple moving average, you can simply start continuing up. Like something like this dip right here, you rejected anything below the 21 simple, you closed above it and then you retested it, but just simply hovered to the upside. Now, that's pretty funny because uh, I'm sure most of the leverage positions would have been wiped out of existence. Um, even if they, like, even if the positions are coming in at 11 or $10, like this move could certainly shake you out if you're going for leverage plays. But if you're holding spot position, this is just a little glitch in the matrix and that should not bother you at all. Let's check out the daily as well for that matter. Now, if daily closes like this, this is going to be damn nice. This is going to be damn nice. And the first and the foremost interpretation would be that the prices do get picked up all the way, uh, all the way towards 4.236. Um, and and maybe if you close a few daily candles above it, you can simply go towards 7.618 and 10.764, which would mean Atom being at $50. So step by step, step by step, uh, step by step uh, um, price action and step by step profit taking as well, right? And step by step risk management as well uh, so that you stay level headed and do not lose control in, this, in, 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 in these kind of shakeouts. I'm sure most of the people who are over leveraged uh, must be shaken out of the markets uh, and it would leave a mental impact in your trading as well. So leveraging, look, leveraging out could hurt you financially, right? Now, financial injury is equal to mental injury and um, why do I say about these things? Why do I talk about these things again and again? Why do I speak of risk management? Look, because I've been wrecked a couple of hundred times in these markets before telling these things to you guys. So you just keep in your mind that uh, if I if I tell you to stay away from leverage, that has a meaning, all right? That that has a little. Now, of course, like why the heck would you want to stay away from leverage, right? You want you want your money to exponentially grow every single day. You more you want a million dollars out of hundred bucks in your account. So why would you stay away from leverage? Well, if you stay real greedy in these markets, the market's gonna humble you down. The market's gonna pull you down, all right? It's just so fast moving your emotions your brain frequencies will not be able to encapsulate what the fuck just happened to you all right this is just gonna happen to you again and again if you are not able to control your margins if you are not able to manage your equity properly and precisely so the first and the foremost thing being stay the fuck away from leverage as much as you want to if you want to go ahead with leverage trading if you want to take leverage positions i don't think that going above 2x to 3x is going to be uh like just stick to 2x or 3x i mean that's going to be helpful that's going to be helpful for you it's no point going on for 20x 10 had you been long on even 3x leverage on atom coming in at top you would have been liquidated off of, uh, out of the market i mean and this one recovers back up <laughs> within the same fucking day so this is what this is why you would want to stay away from any kind of leverage for that matter on these these shit coins now bitcoin and ethereum you could certainly argue that you could leverage out a few position all the way up to 3x to 5x but uh, on 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 coins like atom uniswap sushi swap 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 compound ave and anything you can get liquidated like this even on 3x leverage, man, you would not want that to happen to you, would you? Uh, so, okay, a lot of ramble, a lot of, lot of bloody ramble. Um, let me just come to the point and why am I making Atom, 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 Atom's videos out of the blues because the BTC pair, I mean, pretty neat. I was looking at this chart today and um, this seems to me like... Um, Atom is in for some good, good, good potential upside moves all the way towards 50 USD. Um, if you if you break above this channel right here and we test these highs, these horizontal highs around these points, then then yep, you're talking about Atom at $50 and um, coming in at daily 200 simple moving average. This was a good buying opportunity right here. Uh, now 
you could certainly wait a little longer for this moving average to catch up and finally have a golden cross with the 200 simple um and then you could you you could certainly have more conviction in buying atom against bitcoin or holding atom against bitcoin uh because uh, because these these crosses these uh, crosses on higher time frames are quite significant now don't get me wrong uh by significance what i mean is like you cross this one to the downside you just simply keep on keep on keep on going sideways to downside most of the time you cross this one to the downside you come here about 64 percent but now look at this like you start crossing um this one to the upside now this one was a little pullback to overthrow according to the market dynamics but now the, the, to have something like this in this market environment is kind of difficult because we are extremely uber bullish bitcoin is at 50k do not forget bitcoin is at 50k all right just don't forget and trade like that so well uh, this golden cross right here uh, meant meant a significant up move up of 100% well this one right here come in and at this point meant an up move of 50% so um, if this if this cross happens somewhere around here right so what what would a 100% move look like it would it would directly coincide with this high and this drag, oh. diagonal trending resistance which is going to be around it 8.5 thousand satoshis and a 100% move on the btc pair could certainly mean that cosmos against us dollar could be at 50 we are currently at 2024 um 20 to 24 dollar ranges we are hovering over there but any 100% move on the atom btc pair could lead this one to 50 usd now this is your simple price target derivation like a technical price target derivation as to why can atom go to 50 when will it happen is not in my hands is not in your hands as well it happens when the market decides so now you do not want to outsmart the market because you cannot uh, just 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 simply bow down to the fucking market do not try to outsmart the market because most likely you'll get wrecked in these weeks <laughs> and you'll just simply miss out on those significant gains right so don't try to outsmart the market but just patiently wait and watch how the atom btc pair is going to be playing out like and 21 simple moving average on daily against atom btc looks to me like a buying opportunity whenever it comes down whenever it comes close to it like this one close came really close to it just the 4% range so i think i think traders which are looking at some good um, returns started looking at it like a good rnr opportunity it was a good risk to reward opportunity right here because because you can take this point as your stop loss and you could start risking um, anything below the 200 simple moving average on the daily time frame so you could you could certainly have a long risk you could have a greater risk but your capital if it is managed in a precise way this is fine man i mean this downside this downside risk is totally 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 fine against potential profit coming to the upside like this this is how you want to see the market all right you do not you do not want to be like oh my god i'm just going to lose my money if it wigs down below look try to determine the risk and reward opportunity and what suits for you if 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 opportunities like this show up on something strong like atom you buy it you simply buy um and and if it actually violates some regions to the downside you get out out of you get out of it man i mean it's that simple okay just don't let these things control you emotionally uh, if some regions are violated to the downside like this one right here you get out you simply get out like what's the point holding a loser right so just just trying to tell you things as a trader and just trying to tell you things as a, should i start displaying my pnl um should i i mean because that could lead into certain um, certain problems for me um, the regulations being not that good in my country here in india uh, these these people can start uh, i don't know it's just just a stupid ramble but uh, showcasing my pnl would be such a show off and also it would be just like uh, attracting more and more trouble that's why i always refrain from uh, 
showing my profit and loss statement um, on 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 this YouTube channel because I, I I personally do not feel it's going to be a good idea. Although if we start a Discord channel, if we start a Telegram or a, something like a private Telegram group, I could maybe start sharing my positions and risk management in real time. So let me know down in the comments if you would want to see that. If you really want to be engaged to such amount to such an extent that you would want to be sharing most of the things in terms of trading uh, with me personally, just let me know down in the comments below and hit that subscribe and bell and like and whatever smash the fuck out of anything that you see in this video just smash it all right just do it just do it because why the fuck not doesn't cost you anything it is costing me a lot of time to educate you guys all right so you, best you can do is just help me out with the engagement man come on come on do that hit that subscribe hit that subscribe all right okay upside targets pretty neat on atom and this one looking like an opportunity to me i hope i hope this video made sense to you before i wind this up let's check out atom against ethereum if we have this one trading anywhere let's check out kucoin um well you could argue that this was a simple rejection of price action below the 200 simple moving average so atom looking stressful well uh, lot of players in the market have started looking stressful against ethereum which means that uh, more and more risk taking is happening like, like it's just money is just liquidity is just like circling around the majors and micro caps as well these days so atom against ethereum also looking pretty nice here um, if you if you maintain this kind of price action if you start if you keep on closing daily candles above the 200 simple moving average on atom ethereum then it is a probable like it is a better opportunity to hold atom than ethereum do you get it? No? All right. You'll get it. <laughs> All right. I think that's been it about um, Atom. Pretty comprehensive outlook. And uh, let me know down in the comments what do you want to see next. Uh, let me know if you have any doubts as well. And uh, well, I'm going to catch you guys pretty soon on the next one. Bye for now.